This is an explanation video. If you haven't seen the experiment video of gravity cell yet, please watch it first. In this video, before I explain gravity cell, I will first explain the principle of Daniel cell, since the principles of those two cells are pretty similar. Let's begin. This is Daniel cell. In the left beaker, there is a zinc plate and zinc sulfate solution. And the right beaker has a copper plate and copper sulfate solution. Two plates are connected by a wire. In this case, since zinc has higher reactivity than copper, this is the state of each element. Because zinc wants to lose its electrons, the electrons leave zinc and reaches the copper ion, making it neutral. However, this doesn't happen. Every time the reaction happens, there becomes more positive charge in the left beaker and less positive charge in the right, causing an imbalance. So, to resolve this problem, Daniel cell uses salt bridge, consisting of electrolytes like NaCl. Since these ions fill out the imbalance of charge, the cell works properly, zinc sends its electrons to the copper ion. This was the principle of Daniel cell. The principle of gravity cell is almost the same as that of Daniel cell. Zinc is oxidized and copper is reduced. However, as you can see, there is no salt bridge in the gravity cell. That's because ions can travel freely between the borders of each solution. The zinc ions produced in the zinc surface solution go to the copper surface solution in the bottom and fill the space of missing copper ions. Therefore, gravity cell needs no salt bridge, unlike Daniel cell. Thanks for watching.